Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Skyblock from the Arkin server on the Origins Realm, brought to you by Arkin. Arkin. When you start, when you, when when the world resets, and you don't have to start a new one because the world has reset, and I didn't have to start a new one. I mean, not everybody's gonna, nobody actually is gonna have that privilege, just me. But I mean, it works for me, <laughs> and not for you. Um. So yeah, the world has been reset. Uh, make no mistake, this is definitely the last time. The last time you saw this island, it looked like this. It is still looking like this, but the world has been reset. So if you want to play, now's the time. Everybody's kind of like on an even keel. I think it reset like a couple days ago. Um. So yeah, I'm back on this. So the one thing about it resetting is that I lose everything that was in my inventory, which I think I had some spawners. I'm pretty sure I had some spawners. However, they've made it up to me. They've made it up to me. They've given me some cool stuff. Slash PV1. Check this out. I have some gem transformers, a robot microchip, another gem transformer, and then I have a cell chest, which I want to use right now, and then I have a September crate, and I'm totally going to use a September crate. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I won't. I definitely want the cell chest, though. I've actually been selling some stuff. I started, uh, I think it was, what, everybody starts with $5,000. I think that's what I started with. I'm up to $81,026. Um, $260. I think that's the, the proper way to do it. I'm going to put the cell chest here. So this guy is collecting just about everything. That is my chunk hopper. I do have a couple more chunk hoppers, which is going to come in handy. Um, is this thing pointing? Where is this thing pointing? I don't want to have to be replacing it. No, it's good. So if I do this, hmm, is there like a setting for the cell chest? Any sold items from hoppers will automatically be credited to your balance. The cell chest is active. Fantastic. It doesn't look like it's selling anything. I wonder if you can't use chunk hoppers with it. I mean, you've got to be able to use chunk hoppers with it, right? Boom. Sell it. Oh, it's it's sold. $154. Um, Maybe the chunk hopper isn't actually... Maybe I have to place it. Oh, dang it. Do I have to, like... Hold on. Oh, this is, this is brutal. Like this. There we go. Maybe that's what I gotta do. My inventory is filled with crap. Oh, no. Now I gotta probably set all, like, the permissions, too. So... Do this. Filter options. We've got the steak. I guess I need to... I need to... Okay. F add filtered item. So, let's start with the wool. So, I think you just click it, right? Successfully add a new... Okay. So, the wool is in there now. Good. And it went straight to the cell chest. Good. Alright. Now, I think I need to add mutton. Mutton? Isn't that like a... Successfully added... Okay. Boom. Boom. I hope it uh, I hope it sells it pretty regularly too. Do I need to add leather? So I know this is there. Let's see, is the leather there? Leather is there. Good. Good. Open that up. Leather goes in. White wool goes in. This all goes in and we're set. Good. Oh wait. We are not set because I want the ender pearls to be collected as well. Because they are not. Uh, boop. There we go. I'll sell those guys. Look at my money's already going up, guys. $88,660. I know math so, so well. I don't have very many mob coins. Because, again, that all got reset and stuff, including my money. So, we got to kind of start from scratch, but not really. Because we've got some good stuff already. You know what I should do? Where is my microchip? Robot. <laughs> Boom! You are now something else. He's not. You're not supposed to be sleeping, though. You are supposed to be making these crops grow, my friend. Uh, because once these crop, that is something that I wanted to fix. This thing is highly ineffective. A lot of the sugar cane gets caught here, but I do have another chunk hopper. Not only that, I have that chunk hopper. Which, what's the? Is it F3 and H? Is it? Advanced tool tips hidden? Advanced tool... How do you show the things again? F3 and G. F3 and G. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I had built it in the middle. 
of a chunk before, but I guess with the server reset and them having to having to paste over my my world, it is not it has it has not been placed in the middle of this chunk. That's kind of a bummer. I mean, it's not that bad. We're really one block away, so if anything dies out there, it won't get collected. And to be honest, this is probably a little bigger than I need it to be anyway. But um, yikes. Okay, you know what? Let's build the um, let's build a brand new sugarcane farm like right here. And then if this chunk hopper works well enough with the cell chest, I probably won't need very many at all. Hello, I try to open. Hello, what's going on here? Hello, that was weird. I think that was just lag. Cell chest is empty, hopper is empty, so it's working pretty well. Okay. So let's build the other sugarcane farm here. And we can build a compact version of it where we don't even need water. We could just put we could put the water under the pistons. Yeah. Done. Just like that, I have a new sugarcane farm. I don't even have to make it look pretty. Why? Because nobody ever visits my island. I'm a sad sad boy. By the way, F3 and H was really close to F3 and G. I was one key away, so don't give me any crap. Uh, okay, so let's add this to... What do they sell for, anyway? Slash shop. They, well, it's not food. Farming, they sell for 10 bucks each. That's not bad. Ooh, $20 for pumpkins. I have a lot of pumpkins. I'm going to go ahead and grab those and sell all those bad boys. So, the chunk hopper does not have that. So, we're going to add... There we go. So, now, every time... I guess I can make it even more efficient by having a bunch more observer blocks, but I don't know how expensive they are. Let's see if we can if we can do that. Um, shop. <laughs> I was just there. Where's the observer block? Dispenser observer block. Seventy-five bucks. That's not bad. Let's buy seven more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. So now if I do this, oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Ooh, there's a little lag happening today. There's a lot of people on today, so I don't. Uh, I'm not surprised by that. Um, let's go one. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it! I placed that one wrong. Seven. Okay, I think now it'll work, regardless of uh, regardless of where. The sugar cane is, right? We can take this down too. I can probably expand my farm, get something going on this side. Let's see. Boop. 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 Okay, good. Good. Not gonna lie, this is actually looking kind of cool. Like, if I could get everything lined up, that would actually be awesome. Now, I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed that this side is not in the same chunk anymore, but I still think... I mean, all I'd really need is one other chunk hopper in that chunk to collect the same sort of stuff that this one collects. Ah, but I don't have another cell chest. Hmm. I could probably do a train of hoppers all the way down to the cell chest. I could do that, or I could just chop some trees down. That's not going to solve any problems. But I'm going to chop some wood down because, again, the wood cutting, you have a chance of, uh, of, of getting some cool stuff. So let's start chopping some wood. While I'm doing this, actually, let's talk about some features that they have added. So, um, they've added a bunch of stuff since the last time I played. The last time I played was probably about a month ago. Uh, I'll read off some things that are already included. I don't know. You know what I should be doing is this. Does Fortune work? This is Fortune 4. It's a Sky God pick. Does Fortune 4 work on uh, this? Leaves? Uh, anyway, I'll read off all. It looks like it might. I'll read off all the features, and then we'll figure out... What has been added since? So there's obviously the shop, obviously the auction. You can shop for things, you can auction stuff off and buy stuff from the auction. There's crate keys, there's duels, there's coin flips, there's pocket pets. I've never done a coin flip, and I've never gotten a chance to get a pocket pet. But I hope I hope this this uh, next few episodes, hope I can do that. Maybe I'll, I will open that crate after all. You never know. There might be something there that can help me. Uh, there's real money prizes every week, I believe. They give away real money prizes. That's kind of cool. Like the top islands and stuff. There's adventures. Like, in there's there's the, the vanilla world, right? I think that's what the adventures are, I believe. Um, there's farming quotas, which is what we're going to work towards. Uh, not on camera, because I've done that already. But I'm, I'm pretty close to having enough uh, wheat and seeds again. So I'll just do that on my own. Uh, trophies. Mob coins. 
Warzone drop parties, which I believe I participated in a few episodes ago, or one episode ago. Uh, there's Sky Drops, which I believe is uh, Sky. I think that takes place in the Warzone as well. I might be wrong about that though. I, I might be wrong about that. There's King of the Hill, which I've never participated in. Maybe we'll do that this ne these next few episodes. Um, there's custom enchants. There's bosses. We've already witnessed bosses, and we, we know all about custom enchants. I've spent a couple episodes on that. There are, of course, bounties, which I have shown before. There are robots. I love the robots. I can't wait to get a few more of those guys. Speaking of which, once I get a few more, I'm going to set up a little, I think I mentioned this in the last episode, four stations here for robots to just mine ore. That's right. It'll be great. Um, convenience items. So I'm guessing convenience items are th things like the cell chest, the uh, chunk hopper, stuff like that. There's battle passes. There's uh, there's a spawner unlock system, which is kind of cool. They introduced that not too long ago, and you kind of you got to kind of uh, get other spawners to unlock Get, get certain spawners to unlock other spawners. Kind of a nice little progression there. They've added supercharged spawners. I don't know what that is. Maybe they'll, like, produce a lot of mobs? We'll have to figure that out. Um, whoa. They've also added power items, which I have to figure out as well. We have to do some research on these uh, on these things. So, um, yeah, there's a few new features, and there's a lot of stuff that we're familiar with, but we just really haven't, like, a, the pocket pets. I really want to get, get me a pocket pet, and I should try King of the Hill. I really should. Anyway, back to, oh, um, you know what? I changed. I should be using this. Hey, look at that. Look, check this out. Finish beef just chopped down a lumberjack axe. We just got ourselves, oh baby, efficiency and unbreaking. I will take it. Oh, this is so much faster. By the way, the reason, you're, if you're wondering why I was breaking the leaves, is because I want to expand this tree farm. Now I have 45 saplings to do so. So I want to make like a massive, massive tree farm. I'm going to limit the height of it though, because it's kind of annoying when those big trees grow and you don't really get kind of a good angle on all the logs. So I'm going to... I don't know where I'm going to set it up. Probably back there. Um, and then I'll just, like, chop for days. Or maybe I'll set up everything near... Did I just get something else? I didn't. Dang, now I'm just getting greedy. Uh, maybe I'll set up near here so that this stuff is, is... Is always active. Now, the problem with setting it up like this is that these guys here are never active. This is why I need a robot. Because I believe you can you can uh, load chunks or, or activate spawners with a robot. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but I need another robot up there. Right now, though, he's doing his his wheat growing duty so that I can get that farmer quota met. The first step, anyway. I just set it up beside this thing because it was already half of it was already here. Um, I elongated it a little bit. I think I'll probably end up making this a little bit prettier. But right now, everything is cobble. So it kind of sucks because you have to start building with materials you don't like. Because materi like nicer materials are a little bit more expensive. So... Yeah, we have to deal with, with what we've got. Okay, so, uh, I have a lot of melon. Let me get this stuff out of my inventory, and let's sell some of this farming. Oh, maybe we shouldn't, though, because we might need it to, um, for the farming quota. Yeah, we might need that for the farming quota. So we're going to keep it around for now. Let me clean up my inventory first, though. What, what, what keys, what guy solo? Gabzin, Jackal, McQuishy. Why are these people's names so complicated? Here, how about this there, farmer guy, farmer quota guy? Seeds. Oh, wait. Get reward. Done. What did I just get? How much cash? I just got $150,000 cash. That is nice. Golden carrots times 64. Carrots times 512. Okay. Slash back. How many carrots do I have? Because I know I was growing... I think I was growing more potatoes than carrots, though, which is unfortunate. <gasps> Not a lot. I don't have a whole lot of carrots. I, ha I don't even have a whole lot of potatoes. Who am I kidding? Golden carrots should be easy to make, right? It's just the golden nuggets around the carrots. So 256 of those. Not a problem. I have tons of gold. I just have to remember not to sell it. So let's let's get these carrots going. You do your do your best there, Mr. Growing Robot Guy. And we're going to open that uh, that chest, that monthly crate. I feel like I deserve it because I was robbed. The server reset, and I got special treatment, but not special enough. 
Uh, generally, you do not keep your uh, your island once the server resets. But because I can't play as often as these people, could you imagine? Like every time the server reset, I had to start from scratch. I would never get past like this point. I can't. I don't have the time to dedicate as as much as these people do. So I really appreciate them uh, porting over my server. It's uh, it's a uh, or my my world. It's really really nice. It's really nice. So there's potatoes growing here, carrots growing there. Should we expand the farm? No. First things first. Slash PV one. Gems transformers. I'm not really interested in right now. But let's 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 do this. Oh oh. Wait, this looks different. Click spin for admin. Spin for cosmetic. Epic. Epic. Legendary. Okay. Oh, I get it. That's kind of cool. So if I didn't have fix all already, then I would have it now. Access to fix all. Okay, so you don't have to click anything. I think it's automatic. So this is what for... Is that cosmetic? What's that? Oh, disguises. A parrot disguise? What? Okay. Okay, we have to remember that. Slash disguise, probably. This is good. Let's just do all of them. Because now I'm really curious. Whoa, that's loud. Uh-huh. Ooh. Four, six spider spawners. Two, four, two, four. Wow. I just want epic keys. Apparently. One to four epic keys. Is it? Is it one to four? Seven to twelve chunk hoppers? Oh. <gasps> Parrot Disguise, Parrot Disguise. Chunk Hoppers, Iron Golem Spawners, Wither Skeleton Spawners, and a Super Pick. Efficiency Unbreaking 10, Fortune 6. Okay. What do we got here? Access to Fix All. You've already redeemed this perk. Maybe I can sell that. Oh, I could totally sell that. What do I have now? 239,000. That's good. I thought it was going to like overkill me with cash, but I I'm good that it didn't. So I have some Spawners. Okay, I have 16 chunk hoppers. That's really good. And then an efficiency pick. Efficiency 5, unbreaking 5, fortune 4. Boom, this one's better. So let's put this one. The sky god pick is not even that godly. Anymore. So let's put you there. Slash disguise. Oh, okay, hold on. How do I... Let's play your name. Disguise yourself as a player. Disguise... Oh, that's, no, that's not the thing. I still don't know, but I do have three epic crate keys. Might as well use those now. Rolling for your prize. Your prize will land next to this emerald. Oh, I was hoping. What was that? Basic. Oh, I don't know. It was a robot. A smell wand. Huh. That could come in handy with the um, with the transformer gems that I got. Okay, cool. Let's open the next one. Silverfish smell. Pigman spawners. I like the cell chests, actually. If I can get another one of those, that'd be great. A condensed wand. Okay. Let's go three for three with wands, baby. A condensed wand is good, too, but I have access to slash condense, so it's not really... I guess I could just click a chest and condense everything. That'd be kind of cool. A super sword. I had a diamond sword before with Bane of Arthropods. Now I have sharpness. Ooh, this could be good for the PvP areas. Did you just try to punch my face? Jelly Who's. Daniel 23. Bobby the King. That's the most normal. I guess it's Bobby. I guess it's Bobby. So for this Wither Skeleton Spawner, can I not do this? Um... They might get stuck here, though. Probably not. Here, let's just break that. Because now I can, like, get more mob coins, I think. So the Wither Skeleton Spawner can go in there. The Spider won't work. The Golem Spawner won't work. I don't think you can get mob coins for killing a Golem, do you? Here, spawn a Wither Skelly, will you? Because now I have this sweet, sweet sword. Sharpness, six. Fire Aspect, two. Oh, the Fire Aspect sucks for these guys, though, because they teleport. Okay, well... That's kind of annoying that I have to do that over and over again. Yeah, this guy, he teleported. He's on fire and he teleported. I'm sure of it. They always teleport when they get get set on fire. Or unless he died. I don't know. 
So the Wither Skeletons drop coal. Should we add? Yeah, let's add coal to this thing too. Why not? Why not? Yeah, let's add a new one. Boom. Coal is now in the filter list. Can I even sell coal? I'm sure you can. How much does it give you though? Uh, where would that even be under? Ores? Yes. Two fifty. Two dollars and two fifty. Two dollars and fifty cents each. That's not cool. Oh, you can you can leave here, can't you? Yeah, because you're shorter than the end of it. So I should probably... Come on. Come on! Oh, and bones. Should we add bones? We should probably add bones. Ooh, wait a minute. No. No, we will not add bones. I will keep these bones, and I will grow these trees. But let's add one little... Boop. Right there. Now they're all trapped inside here. There he goes. I, I heard him. There he is! We need to unenchant this sword from fire. He's just teleporting everywhere on fire. Dude. By the way, I was complaining earlier about the server lag. It's not the server lag. It's my connection. My connection's rough. There's the other guy. My connection's really bad. It's terrible, actually. When I say bad, I mean terrible. Look at this. I hate Enderman so much. We still don't have, oh, we don't have a Silk Touch anymore. I think we sold the one, though, before. So I don't think that's a big deal. All right. So things are moving. Things are moving. Can I just say, guys, this is actually really, really cool. So if you click slash help, look at this. This is convenient. Skyblock help menu. That's what this is, I think. How do island? Look at And then they have like, this is great. Island levels. Your island value. You, you gain your island value by placing valuable blocks. This sharing is caring. Every island has its own dedicated island bank which can be accessed via the slash island menu or directly via IS Bank. This is good. Information is easy to be obtained. Speaking of which, slash D parrot. You disguised as a parrot. Now, I don't look like a parrot. <laughs> um, so maybe that only works with uh, in certain worlds, or maybe I never look like a parrot. I just look like a parrot to other people. That'd be kind of funny. Slash spawn. Am I a parrot? Holding a sword? Do I look like a parrot? I don't I don't know if I'm a parrot. I'm flying. That's pretty close to a parrot. Apparently I was this guy. I guess you guys will just have to come on the server and and, and witness my parroting because now watch check this out slash d parrot okay you must be out of combat for 30 seconds before you get okay well let's just talk about other stuff for a little while so little guy how you doing uh-huh yep not much to say huh has it been 30 seconds yet so the one way i know how to turn off disguises here we go your disguise is a parrot check this out you can't place blocks while disguised so i'm clearly disguised I just can't see myself as a parrot. Can you imagine? That'd be amazing. And then if I go over here and I do this, it automatically disables. Uh, there's probably a command to disable it, but I don't know how to do that. So we're just going to go with hitting things. Um, now I can actually use this and hopefully get enough carrots to get the next farmer quota. But having said that, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe in the next one. We'll play with the gem transformers, and then we'll use the smelt wand. Or yeah, that's the yeah, but I don't no, no that's my my work. It'll work just on the iron and the and the gold. I can't remember though if the gem transformer actually gives you gold blocks or like the gold ore. I think it's actually gold blocks, so there's no point in using it anyway. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one. Bye bye.